Well, boys, it's technology day here on Old Car Guy. We're going to try and take a factory Bluetooth radio out of that Ford Focus and put it into this Ford Focus. Because you see, this car has a phone button here, but it says no phone there. And no matter what you do to try and connect your phone, it's, it's just not doing it. So we're gonna try and take the one out of the car that's got it, put it in this one, and see if we can get Bluetooth in our non-Bluetooth car. Guys, if it's one thing I hate working on cars is getting your hands dirty. I know I'm in the wrong profession if that's the case, but our friends over at Zooil have helped us solve part of that problem when it comes to pack and bearings. Now, normally when it comes to pack and bearings, you just get a big gab of grease in your hand and uh, you know you start squishing it in and moving it around until it starts coming out all over the top and the bottom and through the roller bearings and everything but Zooil sent me this sucker and it's a bearing packer and it makes it a heck of a lot easier all you're going to do is uh, put your bearing in there screw the top on and as you start screwing it it's going to start pushing the grease up through the bearing a lot less heartache on your fingers when you're spleeny like me. And if you want to get your very own Kraken bearing packer, there's going to be a link in the description box down below. Thanks to Zooil for reaching out. Let's get back to the video. So hopefully no critters come out to join us because boys, oh boys, don't she stang in here. Anyway, we've got some, we've got some tools. We're gonna see what it takes to get this uh, faceplate off here and see if we can get the Bluetooth to work. We, now we know this one's got it because that right there is Microsoft Sync. And that's what tells you she's got Bluetooth. Okay, so the first thing we did over here was stick something up in there and give her a little pop and she just kind of fell apart. Over here on this side, you gotta do the same thing, but there's two seven millimeter screws holding uh, up uh, in the dash here. So we're gonna grab a ratchet and get those out. So with that bezel out and this one kind of pried away here, uh, you're gonna take your pry tool and you're gonna start right up here at the top of the dash and get that down in and give her a little bit of a ginger little pry up in there and it should just pop out right in your lap. And two screws at the top of the radio down here where the vent was. Get those out. Now, folks, you're learning just as quickly as I am here. I've never done this before. This is just kind of pressure fit into place, I think. But uh, we got to get this console cover out. And if you get your pry tool right in here underneath where the armrest is and give her a little reefing, uh, that whole thing comes out. And you're going to have to pry up that shifter boot as well. And of course, you're going to have to get the car out of park. And of course, you're going to have to get the transmission out of gear. So you got to turn the key forward, put your foot in the brake and slide this thing back. And then you can wrestle with that. There is a plug in down there because it's got the little light sensors in the cup holders. So you can unplug that uh, right here. This gives you access to two seven millimeter bolts right down in here, right there, right there. So let's get those out. And with those two seven millimeters out of there, you should just be able to start prying very gingerly on this whole panel because it's just pressure fit clips that's holding it in there. Uh, so let's pull that out and uh, see where we're to. So now once you got it all unplugged, you'll see once you get in there that everything has its own plug-in. You got two here for the radio. You got one for the satellite radio. You got something over here. I'm not sure what it is. You got two, three for your heater controls. Uh, you got two down here for some, uh, your lights, your airbag, your trash control info, all that stuff. And then you got your, your cigarette lighters, auxiliary, and USB. So let's go over to the other car, get that all taken apart and see if we can't plug this into that and get ourselves some Bluetooth. So on the left is the original radio to this uh, 2010 Ford Focus. And this one over here is the one that we took out 
of the parts car, which is also a 2010, but it's got Bluetooth. So we're just gonna check all the connections and it seems like everything is there. The plug-in was a little bit different on this one here. This one had the sliding lock. Uh, this one just had the clip in with the push pin on it. Uh, this original radio does not have the Bluetooth, does not have uh, USB plug-in. So uh, we might have to just take the old one and plug it in there just for the sake of filling the hole. So let's take our Bluetooth one and plug everything into the dash. Before we stick everything back together, we're gonna start her up and see if I can get my phone to pair with it and play some tunes. And if it does, we will have proven that you can take a radio out of a Bluetooth car and put it into a non-Bluetooth car and have it work. Question is, are we missing a microphone? What are we missing? I don't know. Let's find out. So now that we're in the other car, before we tear all the steering wheel apart, we're gonna see if we can plug the radio from the black car into this one to see if the Bluetooth controls are from the steering wheel. And maybe the radio that was in the black car is gonna work anyway. So we're gonna take that radio, plug it into the silver car, turn it on and see if we pair a phone. One thing's for sure, I think we bit off more than we can chew. Yep. We got both steering wheels off uh, each car and that was a challenge in itself. You've got to be able to unlock the airbag with these little chrome strips. But you've, uh, you've got to do it from behind. You got the dash in your way. You got to go backwards and try and get those popped out. But we did. And from what I can tell, the steering wheels are the same. This plug in here plugs into the clock spring and the only thing that we're controlling from here on the uh, on the original car is the horn. On this one, you've got all your uh, radio controls over here and your uh, cruise control over here. So this plug in here is the same as this one. It plugs into the clock spring the same thing. So now we've just got to uh, get this reinstalled back into this car, the black steering wheel and see if it will control our Bluetooth. Maybe, maybe it gives us cruise control as well. It's to be seen, but anyways, let's get her put back together. So anytime you have the steering wheel apart, the biggest thing you gotta watch out for is the clock spring to make sure that it didn't go too far one way versus too far the other. Steering wheel was straight when I took it off and we just wanna make sure that this is straight when it goes back together. So uh, let's get this thing put into place. Now I know some of you guys are gonna be in the comment section down below telling me what a freaking idiot I am for going and even trying this. And I tell you what, you're not wrong. If you go and you look up the words effort in futility in the dictionary, you're gonna show a picture of me working on this damn Ford Focus just to find out nothing worked. Of course, I've got it all put back together the original way now. But when I had the other radio and the other steering wheel in here, the only controls I had was steering wheel volume control. I could not sync my Bluetooth. I could not change the channels. I could not pair a phone. So there's something in this car wiring that does not connect from here to here. But it's not the end of the world because I think all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to order something offline. Uh, maybe from the Walmart or I don't know. Because I think I need Bluetooth in here. I like Bluetooth and we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll reach out to C-Kane who are longtime sponsors of this channel and see if they got something that will uh, fit in this space here. So the answer is the question, can you take Bluetooth out of a car that's got it and put it into a car that ain't got it? Not on a 2010 Ford Focus, you can't. If anything, this video was for entertainment purposes only and not how to, but maybe you learned something. Maybe you learned how to take the radio out. Maybe you learned how to take the steering wheel off. But at the end of the day, 
it didn't work. We've been two hours freaking around with this thing. But, oh well. We learned something. We now know how to take a stereo, an airbag, and a steering wheel off on a 2010 Ford Focus. So, if you ain't done it yet, check out my swag store. I'm going to leave a link up here. It's also the first link in the description box below. All you got to do is make a purchase at the store. It doesn't have to be a t-shirt. They're cheap, but it could be a beer koozie. could be a sticker. No matter what. So, stay focused on the windshield. Focused. <laughs> I just realized what I said there. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. We love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.